to win nine in a row, even when you have the best car on, on, on the grid, it's always incredibly tough. And especially with a day like today, you know, everything is basically against you and it's easy to, uh, to trip up, make a mistake, go off. But we didn't, we stayed calm. And uh, yeah, to win a race like this today is definitely very rewarding. And then of course, being at uh, your home Grand Prix as well with all the fans makes it even better. I felt great today. Uh, the car was, uh, yeah, it was alive. I think uh, I, was, I, was, I was feeling connected to the car today uh, from the beginning. So we overtook a few cars at the start. And then in the very difficult conditions in the first laps, we were very fast, even faster than Max. Um, and yeah, at the end to finish P2 after the, the difficulties that we went through in, in the month of July, um, yeah, it feels like, as I said, being alive again. It feels good. I must say it feels good. And especially, you know, um, start of the season, I felt like we were pretty unfortunate on, on many occasions. And uh, we're like, OK, there's nothing we can do. You know, we just got to keep trying hard, keep pushing, keep focusing on ourselves and improve what we, we can and what we have in our hands. And uh, Today was an insane race, like a lot of actions, a lot of calls. Um, I called it on lap one to box straight away. Uh, we had great pit stop, great strategy. Uh, the pace was, was good. I could uh, keep up and, and even pull away from, from the Ferrari and kind of stay not too far from Fernando. And uh, yeah, it just got me very excited again. You know, we're fighting for, for this position is obviously a lot more enjoyable and uh, yeah. We had a small penalty, five-second penalty, but uh, luckily on the other side, uh, Checo had a, a five-second penalty as well, and uh, yeah, it all worked out. Yeah, it was uh, such an unfortunate afternoon in the end, you know, with the, especially with the later calls. Uh, we had to do a few. We got the first one right, but then when we boxed for, for the Inter, obviously, things were not ready. Um, and then, the um, yeah, the, the, obviously the extremes happened, and. Uh, that really hurt us and uh, as I was coming into the pit lane it was completely floated so I couldn't stop the car I ended up hitting the wall and uh, yeah unfortunate I think we shouldn't have box but obviously you know the the right goes after the race but uh, anyway it's um, still a, an okay result considering the afternoon we had we have to be very pleased to to be p5 and even uh, giving ourselves a chance to fight for a podium today but the reality is that the pace has never been there all weekend only when it was a bit changeable conditions or mixed conditions we could uh, do something and be a bit quicker than the others but the reality is once the race settled down we were just fighting with cars that were a lot quicker than us and yeah to finish in front of the mercedes the mclarens that this weekend they had a lot more pace than us is is a is a strong result today was a great example of just gotta never give up you know and uh if at, first, if at first you fail or you stumble just get back up and keep trying and we did multiple times and ended up you know, at least at the beginning, ended up last at one point, and that was definitely frustrating. But I just kept my head down and kept pushing, and and um, had some great maneuvers. I think um, quicker than signs at the end. Just unfortunately, just couldn't overtake without the DRS. Some points on the board. It wasn't like a shocking race. I think a lot of it was good. Uh, like this, the, uh, the pit stop for the second uh, second bit of rain was good. So some good things. Just. Uh, the first one was a, was a bad decision and, and cost us a lot, of, a lot of places, a lot of time. All in all, P8, that's the best the cars felt all, all year. That's the best the cars ever felt in my time driving at Williams. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a great day. We have to be really positive about this weekend. P8 is, is disappointing because P6 was there, but I have to be very, very happy. I think, obviously, we wanted to finish a bit higher than, than where we have, um, and we'll have a look at what we could have done a bit better. Um, but yeah, I think you know we kept the car on the track, um, managed to get both cars in the points in the end. So uh, I think it's yeah, not um, not our best afternoon, but could have been a lot worse too. Yeah, super disappointed that you know we were six, you know, from P16 to P6, uh, a well you know fault race from start to finish, and you know we just um, we don't box, we stay out on slicks. Um, the tires were not ready in the garage and. Yeah, we were just, uh, you know, not there to take the the right choices, um, which we had done so, uh, you know, prior to that. So, you know, we uh, we let slip eight points through our hands today, and um, that is extremely disappointing. So, yeah, that shouldn't have happened. 
Uh, what was the car like out there? Disappointed, obviously, not to make it into the points. Yeah, for sure. It was tough. We tried to stay out on the slicks at the beginning of the race. Didn't work out. But a gamble worth taking at that stage? Oh, yeah. I mean, it didn't work out, so um, probably should have pitted, but... Um, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, a very dynamic race. I mean, the first uh, five laps were just survival mode. I think there was three of us. Uh, at the end, only two, Valtteri and me, you know, that decided to stay out on slicks, which was, uh, yeah, definitely not the right decision in hindsight. Um, you know, I lost quite a bit of race time in, in that uh, in those couple of laps. Um, so, yeah, we I think we missed an opportunity there. Um, after that, obviously, you, you do a race, but difficult to gauge where you are you're a little bit in no man's land you know 20 30 seconds behind the, the bulk of the of the field um, so I did my own race kind of there pace I from what I could see I think was was a ride within the midfield obviously uh, not good enough to do anything uh, up the front but um, yeah collect a lot of data with the new front wing that we you know now need to go through and, and analyze um, and understand more I think uh, hopefully we can optimize more around it I just happy happy to get through the race honestly there's definitely some work to do um, I'm glad to have done it now, to, to be able to learn from this and take this forward. So hopefully I get the opportunity to drive again and then I can use everything I learned today for, for that. So main target for today was to do all 72 laps. I mean, looking back now that we had all the mixed conditions, it's probably good for me to, to have gone through that. Um, so yeah. At the moment, the pace, it felt like it was not up for the points in a, in a normal race. So that's why we kind of really need to tr do, do something different and try things. But. Uh, yeah, it wasn't meant to be today. I think uh, I showed at least, uh, I mean, a bit of good speed and um, yeah, a bit of uh, exciting moments. So um, I, I mean, pretty happy with the pretty happy with the race. But I think we tried a lot, um, and it's quite a shame that we didn't pay it didn't pay off. Yeah, also shame for the penalty as well. But it is what it is. So a shame, you know. It feels like uh, it feels extra frustrating when you manage to hustle your way in, into the top ten, and then you. You don't have the pace to be there, so uh, yeah, we will keep uh, keep working. And today we showed that we we are trying our best uh, going forward when when there is an opportunity. But we need more pace. And what happened with that moment with Lando? We only saw one shot on the replay. It was yeah, too it was just a racing incident. We were very close um, around turn nine and then turn ten, um, and then I ended up with a puncture. So nobody's fault. You know, it's it topped off what was a bad day. The rain dropped, uh, I think I was the second car across that heavy rain behind Yuki and aqua planning straight away for halfway for the straight and uh, yeah, it was passengers instead. It was a 19G, so very lucky, obviously walked away. No big issue at the minute. It's been a frustrating race. It's been an extremely difficult um, race uh, with the balance and the weekend overall has been very difficult. So uh, yeah, just disappointing. I hope in Monza, uh, with all the support that we can have, we can have a great race. Just sad to have another broken car. We saw you stay out and sat on a jack chair for far, quite a bit of time. Did you just want to have a bit of time to yourself after that? Where was that, sorry? When you were just sat outside, you stayed outside on the on the deck chair after the accident just for a little bit. Did you just want to have a bit of time to yourself for a bit? Well, there's no way back. So you're kind of stuck out there once once you're uh, once you crash or once you stop. So yeah, a, a long way to get back.